there YouTube today I wanted to show you guys the updates that I made on this um, water cooling kit and some people have been complaining about motion sickness from the last uh, cinematic video that I made so I'll try to not move the camera as much around and sorry about that guys so I made these uh, hose clips to make it a little more um, well tidied up also on the S1 as you can see I used these and when it moves around it will be just like this and this the V2 is actually well the V1 is actually also printing at the moment and my cat needs something I don't know what <laughs> um, but this is the noise production that it's making the Noctua fan for the parts cooling fan here didn't kick in yet it will kick in after the second or the third layer um, I'll show you what that sounds like so now we're at the let me check I think fourth layer and you can hear the fans go now which is parts cooling fan and also the motherboards fan here going at full speed but overall the printer is very quiet and I also add another fan on the water cooling kit here it's not a fast fan it's very quiet it's working with 5 volts um, through the USB here and but it is just a help it it's not for really cooling it so it doesn't really have a meaning to put a fan there but it does really well help probably help for longer prints um, this is a print of uh, three hours well two hours 21 is left and this is what the machine performs as when I'm touching here which is the inlet which is coming from the uh, output of the uh, coolings block to the inlet of the water cooling kit I think it's around now 20 35 36 degrees it is fairly hot uh, outside today uh, that will also uh, play a part of it and this is the uh, the output which goes to the input which is the way that the colder water is coming out here is there a difference between these two yes a little just a little doesn't really matter much but it uh, has I, it has no problem keeping the temps which is 20, 210 degrees at the moment um, on the hot end no issues at all i am really happy with it a lot of people on facebook started saying that they start they print 24 hours or 48 hours or maybe eight days uh, for one print i never do that i never have done it my lo my longest print was 24 hours and that's about it and i'm pretty sure 24 hours on this setup is not a problem um, but I can't say the same for eight days of printing uh, at once anything would get hot for that any water cooling set um, but I did print 18 hours with this and it turned out really well um, so the first test for me 18 hours the next test will be 24 hours um, but I just need to find a 
time to be in at house in the house for 24 hours because I never leave my printer alone uh, well I meant to go outside and leave the printer just printing I don't trust it that much in general all 3d printers um, I don't want to come back home and find out that the whole house has burned down um, no thanks and that's why i'm not taking any chances on printing um but this is what you guys wanted to see how it performs and also some things that i want to mention is i took out this uh, hot end fan so this housing is empty what i've designed to do is I made well I remixed uh, SDL file for the shroud for the original one to put this in behind well in the back of it and not use this shroud anymore and I have also designed well not designed but I've remixed another part that takes the um, CR touch so you can mount it as well but without this part so this part will go in the back and the other CR touch will go on hit on this spot and then you won't be needing this shroud part at all but that's for a uh, next video because I haven't uh, had time to re-disassemble this um, been working on different projects at the moment so yeah this is what it is standing at at the moment and without forgetting guys, I have two Raspberry Pi Model B, uh, 4B, uh, eight gigabytes laying here. And I want to give one of these units away. Um, if you guys want one of these with some heat sinks on completely brand new, if you guys want to participate on this giveaway um, what you have to do is subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up button and, um, and next time in I think let me see it's end of September I will do a live giveaway about this and the guys who are um, subscribed to my channel make a chance to win one of these well there will be one lucky winner uh, i'm a fairly new channel so i can't do much more than give away a raspberry pi at the moment the greater the channel gets i might do bigger giveaways like printers or whatever but that's for the future anyways guys i hope you liked the video and this answers most of your questions what the printer is performing like I know I I'm just showing an instant of the print itself uh, I know there you need to see like eight hours or 15 hours into the print that's not the case here but uh, trust me on this it's really just performing as it is at the moment so guys, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up if you didn't like the video, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Bye!